Okay, now we have a word problem. Again, we're not going to fear here because we just start reading. We see what happens. The sum of two numbers is 956. Sum stands for addition. So we're going to have two numbers, x and y, and they're going to add up to 956. One number is, oh, one of them, let's just call it x. x is, and is becomes the equal sign, 94 less than. Now there's that word less we've got to be careful of. I'm taking 94 away from something else which goes first, and that's 6 times the other number, so that will be the 6y. There together, those two equations become our system. And since the second equation is of the form x equals, we're going to do substitution. So the bottom equation going into the top equation gives us 6y minus 94. That's what's getting substituted in. Plus the other y in that top equation is 956. We combine like terms, 6y and 1y add together. We now have 7y minus 94 equals 956. We're going to then add 94 to both sides. 7y is all that's left on the left. And on the right, 10 carry our 1. That gives us 15 carry our 1, 1,050. And I know that 7 times 15 is 105. So when I divide by 7, instead of getting 15, I'm going to have 150 is my value for y. Now, when it comes to substituting in, I probably don't want to go into that bottom equation, even though I've got x equals, because I'd have to go 6 times 150 and then subtract 94. It's a lot easier substituting into the first equation, just saying, oh, my two numbers add up to 956. 150 plus what? Well, still a little bit of a mess. We're going to get 806. Together, those add up to the 956. Next problem, scrolling down here. Two angles are complementary. Complementary means they add up to 90 degrees. So x plus y is equal to 90 degrees. It's the word supplementary that says two angles add up to 180, but complementary is 90. One angle, I'll call that x, is one degree less than six times the other. 6y minus 1. There's that word less again that we're going to have to be careful of. We have an x equals, which means it's time for substitution. Substituting that into the line above gives me 6y minus 1, parentheses optional, plus y equals 90. Upon combining like terms, 6y and 1y make 7y minus 1 is 90. Add 1 to both sides. 7y equals 91. And dividing each side by 7 gives us y equals 13. Now, we're looking for two angles. And judging from my top equation, together they add up to 90 degrees. So 13 plus what makes 90? Subtracting the 13, I get 77. So 13 degrees and 77 degrees are the two angles we're looking for. And if you want to check with the second equation, 6 times 13 is 78. Minus 1 gives us the 77 that we have there.